I came to the University of Utah in 1996 from other universities which were in much more humid environments. And there, uh, I developed a model system for my research, uh, which uses pigeons in their lice. When I got to Utah, I discovered I couldn't keep the lice alive. It took a few months to figure out why, and the reason is that it's too dry here. The humidity is not that high, and so the lice die. They can't survive. And so around this time, my older kids, who were then in grade school, got head lice for the second time. And so over time, we started tinkering with the possibility that maybe you can dry out even head lice and control them that way, which is what the louse buster does. This is the device, and it blows air through this hose and out uh, through this applicator, which has a lot of tips on it. And so the air gets directed down to the roots of hairs. It's come a long way. It's been 13 years since we first started tinkering and now we're distributing it around the world and people are using it in about 20 countries. It was a classic, unanticipated potential application that came out of basic research. When we stumbled on to the desiccation effect with our pigeon lice, we were actually doing research describing new species of lice. And so to be able to develop something over time that's an application that real people can use out in the real world that can help them is a pretty cool story. You never know what's gonna come out of basic research.